Hello sweeties. I need a small notebook journal type thing for um, keeping track of all these videos now that I'm actually getting somewhere with them. But I figured and I already started without you because I didn't think about it. Um, I started with 6x6 paper pad. Um, actually most of them are from here. What is it? Artsy. It's just cardstock. It's a 6x6 basic papers cardstock paper pad. I, let's see, it was one I haven't started yet. Folded each of them in half, six by six in half, so we've got three by six. Uh, some of, oh, the next step I did was um, inks and sprays and, and, actually I think most of these are inks and just water and I just slapped them all around everywhere. Um, I folded them in half. Some of them cracked. Um, I noticed cardstock's really good about that. I have glue on my fingers. Huh. Okay. Um, so I just put down masking tape. And this is actually um, freezer masking tape. Uh, for like if you're wrapping meat or that kind of thing. Um, I have found that it's... The sticky on it is far greater than just standard masking tape. So I'm using it everywhere. I do need to turn it into some homemade washi or something, but for the now, just because this book's a scribble book for me, I'll just keep it like that. But what I've done is, I haven't really made signatures, well, technically I have, but it's just two folded papers together to make a signature, right? What I've done for those signatures is just a basic poke a hole through there, pull your, your thread all the way through, poke another hole, bring it up tight in the middle. Didn't measure, not all of these are going to be the same, doesn't matter. See, no measuring, no uh, being precise. Again, it's just a scribble notebook. It, it doesn't matter, it will hold everything together. What I want to do now is show you, I, I left one because once I realized I was doing it and not showing you and I usually get questions on those pieces, um, I left one. So I have here just a big, I don't even know what this one, I think this is a darning needle because like who darns anymore honestly. But I've got a reasonably large needle and some... I think this one's an embroidery floss. Yes, if I had to guess, I'd say it was. Uh, it's multi-strand. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a, an embroidery floss. But what I'm doing is making sure my papers are up the same direction. If that's something that matters, you don't have to do that. Um, I want my, my threads to be tied on the inside, so I'm going to start on the inside. I'm not measuring. I'm being careful where my fingers are so I do not poke them because that just really sucks. Poke a hole, pull this through very gently, leave a reasonable tail um, so you can tie it, hold on to the bit you just did, um, that seems to work reasonably well. Figure out roughly where you want it to come back through the other side. Poke it back through, and it's harder coming from the outside when your your pages are folded this way, because um, you've made that fold to the outside. It, it's um, just tougher. What I usually do is hang this off the edge of my table, um, so that the table lines up about here, um, and that just gives stability to where I'm trying to poke through. and pull it through, snug but not so tight it's tearing paper because that would be bad. That would be very very bad. Alright, basic knot and sometimes these come loose for me. I don't really particularly worry about it uh, for my personal books anyway. And then take your handy dandy scissors, give it a trim, 
you can leave those long if you want to add like stars or heart strings or whatever um, but there you go you have a basic signature you can do this for your bigger signatures with more pages and then we're going to take these actually first I'm going to move this before I poke myself because you know I have skills wait before we do that let's look at the cover I grabbed um, this was the cover off of this paper pack and this is all I have left of this paper pack um, it's all birthdays um, I think it's party me hearty but it's all pirate theme kids birthday stuff um, but I used it as um, save the paint scrapey stuff when I did a, a canvas recently so uh, I went back through figured out this size that I needed and roughly how wide I wanted my, my little chunky journal to be my, my chunky notebook um, it was really thin the, the cardstock or cardboard cover was really thin so what I did was cut off the excess um, oh there's some yeah party me hearty seven bucks at Walmart 12 by 12 paper pad I can't remember how many sheets were in there, but it was huge, and it's got um, stuff for boys and girls. Or just throw them together like I did. But I took extra offcuts once I cut out my, my actual cover size, and I just stuck them on there. This is going to be the outside. I'm not worried about covering this at the moment. I might do later. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about how that looks currently. It's going to mostly sit on my, my table here uh, in the background and it should be fine. If I have an issue with it, at most I'm going to cover it with um, duct tape probably. But to get to the next bit, I'm not worried about an inside cover. I am going to trim off some of this glue that's all oozed and dried on the, the edge here because that stuff gets really sharp really quick. And there goes the dude on his bike again. Every time I'm on video. Okay, so we're just going to trim that up just a little. Because, yeah, dried glue can be excessively sharp. Clean this up as we go here, which I'm trying to do. Some days I'm good at it, and other days not so much. Now I think, therefore I am, aha, no, um, I think I'm, I don't know if I want to glue these in and tie them or just tie them in. Hmm. See, that's what we're working with. None of the, these match, doesn't matter. They'll sit in just like so. And I'm not planning on like sticking anything in, so I don't mind there being so much paper in this one. It's just for jotting down notes. Um, let's see. I don't know if I care if they're upside down or not either. Hmm. It shouldn't matter terribly. No, that will. That's going to bug. That's got to be up the other, other way. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, I should probably check that they're not all in hiding in each other. You know, I think I might just run a couple beads of glue just to hold it there. And then we'll clip it. And when that's dried, I'll come back and, and tie it. Because I really love the threads and yarns and, and that, that knot mess that they make. Um, I quite enjoy that. Yeah, I think that'll make a, a decent scrappy little journal. Alright, let's do that. So, we'll grab this. We'll make sure these are all up the right way. Yes. No, that one goes that way. Okay. That one, hopefully I don't have any... Oh, no, see, that might be upside down to that one. <gasps> no, it's not. Okay, when... 
Winning! Yay! OCD brain much? Like seriously? Oh. Oh, see that's up the right way, but that one's not. Oh, I'm gonna try and live with it. Let's see. That's what I should do. I should leave some upside down on purpose. Oh, be strong. Be strong. Okay. Be strong. I'm going to have to break that habit. That one's up the right way. I can handle that. Mm. Yeah, leave that one up the right way. No, actually, turn that one upside down. Leave that one up the right way. Yes, look. Now it makes sense. I might be able to be okay with that. And this one doesn't really have an up the right way. They've got stuff printed here, here. Well played. Hmm. So that one doesn't matter. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Hmm. Tasty. Okay. So put them in the order that you want them, or um, orientation, I guess that you want them, um, if you have colored paper or, or papers that are dark and you want to even those out throughout the book, uh, now would be the time to do that. Okay, um, wow, I got fuzzies from everything, good lord. I think what I'm going to do to start, let's see, where are all my clips? Honestly, that's ridiculous. This bucket is supposed to be full of clips, so I've got a project somewhere covered in clips. I will have to track that down. Alright, for right now though, let's use the little hair roller holdy ones. Okay. I don't think it matters which way is up on this either. I'm probably going to scribble and doodle and draw flowers or something on here. So let's do that. Double check with... And for the moment this is wider at rest than the spine that I made. That's fine. I'm going to smoosh them all together. And there's not a huge variance between the top and bottom, so that should be okay as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, since we have this out from doing this big blue journal, I'm going to glue somewhat. And I think I'm just going to use my finger to spread it out, but I want to make sure I don't get it on on the fold. I definitely don't want to up the side of the fold. So, oh, little cheat sheet here. Wet your finger first. You get a lot less glue stick to you. So we're just going to do like so. Well, it's hot in the house. It started to set already. Okay. That's about as good as we're going to do that, I think. Just enough to hold it while we can get it tied. We want to make sure any glue that did escape our valleys here is washed off. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, see, these are slick. They don't want to stay. Let's turn this this way, I think. Okay, make sure they're as together as you want them. Really pinch the, the bottom ends there. And as you set it down, set it where you want them to, to be. Um, now, with any luck, don't move as you close or fold this. I'm going to close it more than I need it to and put this big sucker on here, if I can. Whee! Oh, I should probably work out or something, but I don't. Okay, that is my new little notebook. We're going to let that dry, and then I'll come back and uh, 
put threads and yarns and stuff to just make sure those signatures stay in. But there is a really quick journal. I'll check in with you when it's dry. Okay, love you, bye. Hey guys, back again. Oh. All right, let's see where we're at with this. Hopefully it is stuck just enough to be still while we wrap it. I've got some, let's say wool blend yarn. I think this is a wool blend. No, maybe not. No, it should be, it's an 80-20. Um, left over from a sweater that I made. Came out gorgeous. I'm not going to measure this as we go. I am going to start roughly in the middle. I'm going to leave a tail and I'm going to take from the top to the bottom. I'm going to wrap it up here. And then I'm going to go down to the center of the next signature to the right. I'm going to come up and then I'm going to cross over and wrap the signature to the left after I move my tail. Or left of the center, I should say. So that's where we started. Wait, that's where we started. That's where we're going. So we want to look for the centers of the signatures. Oh. Down, back up. We're going to cross over again to the next one on the right. Let's see. Right there. We want to keep an even as possible tension as we can throughout the book. We're going to swap back over to the left. Wow. Let's see, we've already been there, so we'll go here. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, getting all tangled. We we'll go here. to the left. I don't have any real reason for doing right to left. Um, it's not something you have to do or is better to do or anything like that. That's just how I'm doing it today. I don't always do it like that. Let's see, so that'll drop us in our first one. Hopefully our last one here, yeah. Now from the top, down the bottom, back up to the top. I'm going to cut this reasonably long. We can always trim down. I'm going to do a basic knot at the top. Again, and that is our last minute no must no fuss notebook. And I think it will work just fine for what I need. Every time I do go out and buy a, a little notebook for this type of thing, I end up using it for something else or modifying it or altering it and making it into a gift for somebody. So the ones I use myself, I, I've usually just thrown together and they work just fine. And this way you don't get bored um, with just basic pages. And yep, some of these are upside down, which I'm going to have to learn to deal with. Um, but the way we've done it, the book mostly lies flat. Um, I mean, it wants to bounce up because it's uh, it's really full and brand new. 
but um, in order to write in it, it it's not terrible. Um, all this will lay down um, instead of just standing up and, and being weird. But it is a chunky little book, and I think it's going to work just fine for what I need. So yeah, what I might do um, is add some, actually let me do that right now, I'll just slap some duct tape on there, these are the colors I'm most drawn to lately, which is fine because that's the colors of the inks I think, yeah. And I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to see where that crossed over. Um, and I could have taken this one and wound it around and made a, a decorative thing there, but I didn't. Or you could put a bead or buttons or whatever. Um, I think what I want to do is just go over that and just do a partial, um, let's see, let's just play with it. Oh, I have like zero fingernail. Well, okay, I shouldn't say zero. I have fingernails. They're just very short. We're not going to measure this or be precious about it. And I'm going to start here. And I'm not too worried about how much of the, the spine or the yarn that sticks to it. I'm more concerned about this part. So we'll uh, definitely run through here, take scant fingernail and smush it down. And yes, smush is a technical term. There we go. Um, I'm going to do this color towards the top, I think. care about wrinkles because I'm not worried about the outside. I just need somewhere to jot down notes on the inside where I can find them again instead of all my paper pads that are everywhere. Okay. apologize if you can hear the neighbors lawn mower, but they're actually doing their yard, so that's nice. And weed whacker now. Hmm. And it feels like I've gone a little long on this, so... I'm going to run it down and I'll trim that in a minute since it's not really enough to flip over. And this one I will probably just flip over. And that will help me remember which is the front and which is the back. Possibly. <laughs> Alrighty. And there is a very quick chuck it together chunky notebook journal thing. Let's do that. Now for now, to uh, keep it closed, I'm just going to do this. And I'll probably use a um, hairband or put a button with a hairband or something on it. But no, I like it. It's good. Okay. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Do all the YouTube things. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment. 
Uh, hit me up in messages here on YouTube if uh, you have requests or um, questions or whatever. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Love you.